working on the Mighty Car Mods forum and I was looking at actually a comment that Moog left me about uh, him and Marty looking to purchasing a welder. So I thought I'd actually show you a video of mine. Um, well, it's a, a Toolex 120 amp joule gas and gasless MIG welder. You can see I have a little gas bottle here, but you know they're pretty small and they run out quickly. That's why I usually use flux core wire. There's two different types of wire. There's either the flux core, which you can use without gas, or there is the gas wire, which is actually a lot thicker and already have to turn the amps up a fair bit and there goes your electricity bill of these but you know it's a good investment and I'll just show you uh, a couple of little things on here with this you actually have your uh, wire speed adjustment to make it go oh, what is it, it says fast and slow you have your high and low amperage settings here just a couple of more settings and everything and you got your, your ground clamp and when you're actually going to weld the, whatever you're welding, a piece of metal or steel or whatever, you always want to clean where the ground clamp goes. You always want to grind off to bare metal, shiny, so you get a nice good uh, clamp on there. And over here we have just a MIG torch. Um, yep. Not that. Uh, yep, with one thing, with the flux core, you're always going to get a build up of just slag in there, just because it's just flux core, that's just, that's just the type of uh, wire that happens but with gasless wire it's a lot cleaner, there's not much, not as much smoke and but um, the difference is you, you're going to have to buy the wire plus you're going to spend probably around $200 or more just to rent the gas bottle just because you're not allowed to buy them these days you have to rent the right gas which uh, some gas is different, I have actually this gas is for welding um, aluminium and that with the other gas you want to use CO2 and ergon for steel so yeah that's pretty much it and you know just use a wire brush or an angle grinder just to uh, clean up your welds and everything and yeah that's pretty much it thanks guys for watching the video and drop me some comments so yeah